<laughs> How's it going, everyone? My name is Lion, and welcome back to Stuck in the Yonder Visual Novel. But anyway, I wake with a gasp and my heart threatening to beat out of my chest. Where am I? What happened? I'm in the hospital again. In the lonely room with only the beeping of machines. I catch my breath while laying on the pillows, trying to organize the thoughts in my head. It was a nightmare, but which part? My eyes drift downwards to the translucent boxes in front of me. Not that part, that's for sure. I'm still stuck in a visual novel, still being tortured by a younger love interest. Aww. That's why I'm in the hospital this time. Those guys are the worst. Even I. Even I. Huh? Hey, I wasn't in the hospital in the first place anyway. What was my nightmare about? Hmm. The darkness of the hospital room. I forced the thoughts out of my head. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to deal with it. Leave it for tomorrow. Just want to sleep in peace tonight. A nightmare. What? Oh! How are you doing? Aww. Better than yesterday. It's good to hear, I suppose. Huh? Where's Leon? Um... I don't know. I texted him, but he didn't reply. Uh... Actually, I don't think he's been home. His mama answered the door when I stopped by his house. You know how it is in that household. Huh? I do. Did Leon have a bad upbringing? He's always so cheerful and did the game never mentioned. I suppose it's a given based on how twisted he became. I hope he isn't falling into bad habits again. Bad habits? Does he drink? Huh? Huh? You know, terrorizing everyone. I like to think he started to make up with his parents, but... What happened yesterday? Yesterday? You mean... Remembering the kiss makes me feel... It makes me swallow uncomfortably. The feeling of being crushed. I shake my head, forcing the memory away. Um... I thought you guys were finally moving forward. It almost sounded like he threw a fit with his parents again. He hasn't done that in years. <sighs> this is too much info dumping. I don't want to deal with his tragic backstory right now. Maybe if I was playing in front of screen, I can bear to read through and process it, but... I can barely process my own feelings right now. Much less whatever my brother is saying about Leon. Huh? Why do he care so much? It's his parents. Um... Uh, well... He frowns and pulls out his phone. I just wish mom and dad would come home for once. Huh? It's just the fault of being isekai again. Honestly, as a reader, I never thought twice about his absent parents in the main character's life. I just accepted it as the writer ignoring certain details to make their job easier. But it has an impact, doesn't it? I'm sure they'll come home soon. I can't help wanting to cheer him up. I don't like seeing people so glum around me. It's okay. I'm sure they'll come home soon. No way! Uh-huh. Sure. The bad pigs will fly first. Oh, come on. Let's not give up hope. Right. Whatever. Anyway, you ready? Huh? huh? You didn't leave anything behind the hospital room, right? No. No. Then let's get home. Spend the remainder of the day resting at home. Even though the doctor deemed me well enough to leave, I was still pretty out of it. Hmm. Wait, it's nighttime already? Thankfully, I felt well enough by the time evening rolled around. Yeah, no, really. John is here. One of these days, this stuff will get you killed. No way. Ugh. If all you guys are going to judge me, I'm putting it away. Three voices float in the living room. Thanks to the name tags, I can discern who they are right away. John and Moria. Huh? I haven't met Moria before. My immediate thought is that I don't remember any Moria from the game, but that doesn't matter anymore, does it? Aww. I'm meeting so many people that never showed up in the game. Without a second thought, I open the door out to the living room. Hey guys. I find myself staring right into Rem's blank eyes. Is this where I get Rem's love scene? Is this where I kiss Rem? Hey. Rem? Hey! Oh, big bro, you're up. How are you feeling? Also, wait, hang on. So tell me that Rem is like the second shortest here. Gah! Hello. And four of them sit in the living room, crowded around a board game of some sort on the coffee table. Of, of the four kids, there is an unfamiliar girl sitting next to John. Moria, I suppose. Huh? I can't fully discern her features either. <laughs> How are you feeling? I don't like how she emphasized that. 
nor that little smirk on her face. Ugh, it's barely different from a usual blank stare, but that makes a tiny difference that much more significant. I give up. I don't know which part of the game I'm at anymore. Rem said she wanted to see how you were doing since you collapsed in the middle of class. She also brought some of your homework. That's oddly nice of her, what? Aww. That's all it took for you to invite her to the house. I bite back the words, considering she's my only classmate, like, it wouldn't make sense. Hmm. I'm doing fine. And I see the smile disappear from Rem's face. Huh? She really come here just to see me suffer. Ugh, that's great. She, he cut, he's cut short as Rem stands from his seat at the table and crosses the room to me. <laughs> I'm so surprised I stay rooted at the spot, which is really stupid in hindsight. I don't think this girl particularly cares about stabbing me in a room full of witnesses, if that's what she wanted at the moment. Seriously, next time she approaches me, I better run like no tomorrow. Isekai evidence be damned. Your homework. She holds out several papers for me. Hey, you should take the papers, lover boy. Yeah! From beside John, Moria elbows him. John's suggestion snaps me out of my stupor, even if that's not the reason my brain is fried around Rem all the time. Thanks. Mm. No problem. She turns to where she was sitting to get her bag and heads towards the door. You're going already? Yeah, I only came to deliver your brother's homework. <laughs> was that a tinge of ice in her voice? Before I can ruminate on the meaning of her words, she turns to me, and there is a semblance of a cruel smile on her face again. <laughs> if you get sick, though, just stay home. I don't mind delivering homework for you again. I don't know if I'm supposed to gather more meaning from that, if I'm supposed to decipher that for something else. I'm just gonna take that as a, you know, she just wants to, like, give me my homework and, you know, she's actually worried about me. <laughs> a chill travels down my spine as she opens a door and leaves the house. Oh, should I start cheering for Rem instead of lo- Don't. Don't finish that sentence. My brother's friends stay for the rest of the evening, I chat briefly with John and Maria, and order pizza for the three of them before retreating to my old room. I don't have the energy to avoid any landmines that might crop up in conversations with my brother's old friends like them. Besides, I have this homework Rem brought me to try and decipher. It looks like she did her part to collect word from all my classes. Why does she know every single one of my classes? Last I checked, we do not share every class. She's a Yan... Yan something. Like, I really have to question why. Young Yire? Probably. Damn. I missed one of my classes. Why does it feel like I'm behind by a week? What are all these concepts? Ugh. I was in the hospital. Why do I still have to do homework? I collapse onto the desk dramatically and bury my head in my arms. Aww. I hate high school. What if I ran away? Technically, I'd graduated from college and have a degree. I've been working for a few years already. I can head an office job again. Hey! Her voice startles me, causes me to jump as I raise myself off of my desk. Huh? Moria. We're heading out now. Just wanted to say thanks for the pizza. It's no problem. Did you really come here just to say that? I already told her it wasn't an issue. Moria, you ready? Just a second. I'll stop beating around the bush. Who are you? Ah! What? No, no. Control your reaction. She's, she's probably referring to someone else. Uh, Moria. What are you talking about? You've known me for a while. Why are you asking who I am? Oh no. Oh no, I can't discern her expressions enough to get a full read, but I'm sure she's frowning and doubting me. Press X in doubt? I stare back nervously, hoping it's enough to clear her suspicions. Finally, she shakes her head. <sighs> Sorry, forget I asked anything. There's something different about you. Whoa, even though she whispered it, and I could hear it, I read it in the text box. Mm. This could be useful in the future. Hey, uh, if if something happens, feel free to ask me for help. Is this some kind of trick? Um, sure. Sure. What's going on, Moria? Huh? Is there something I should know about? What? Uh, mm-hmm. Turn the tables on her. <laughs> How's it turn tables? I, I had to. Okay, like, it's been forever since I got to say that. Come on. Nah, forget I say anything. See ya. She runs out to the living room before I can say another word. I can't even make it out of my room before hearing the front door close behind them. Uh... Hey, bro, 
Did you do something to her? Huh? What? No, of course not. Hmm. He squints at me and I suddenly feel guilty. Is this because I've been kissing everyone in the game so far? Like, so far I've kissed Vincent, I've kissed Leon, I'm trying to raise up the doctor, so I don't think I'll be able to go down the doctor route, but still! She's a child! There's no way! No! For no reason at all. What the hell? Whatever. I'm gonna do my homework now. Um... Okay, wait, wasn't that what you were working on? Why is this a choice? Um, wasn't that what you were working on? Huh? I thought you were working on your homework with John and Moria. Uh, uh, uh well, that was a plan, but huh? I turned to the board game on the coffee table. I ended up showing them some of my collection. Hmm. I see. That was a Ouija board! He moves to collect the board from the table, pack it away with care. Make sure to finish your homework, okay? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, big bro. I'll see you later. He leaves to his room and I return to my homework. My brother is hiding something. Hmm. I reluctantly step out of house to a new day in the game. Are you okay? You sure look glum. Why don't you stay home for another day? I'm highly considering it. Oh, no. I don't want to see either of those two, but I don't think I'm safer at home anyway. Could you stay with you and go to school alongside you and Leon? Sure. Got it. Will do. Oh, thanks. I'm glad he's willing without begging this time. Especially this time. We start walking towards the station. Hey, big bro. Huh? Um... I don't know what happened, but I hope you guys make up soon. Hmm. Why is he such a sweet kid? But as much as I want to reassure him that things will be fine. Aww. I know they aren't. Or rather... I don't want them to be back the way they used to be. I really don't want to be around Leon. Even though I'm here waiting for him. I'm just hoping he won't show up. I don't want to be reminded of. The images from the hospital room are coming back and I feel myself choking up as I fail to fight against the memory. But just before I got lost in it. Sudden buzz of a text message from both our phones. Huh? It's from Leon in the group chat. Huh? Sorry, got somebody to take care of. Get to school without me. My brother reads it out loud before turning to me. Ooh. I'm sure the relief is visible on my face. Well, there's that. Let's get going. Alright. I held my breath for most of the school day, but it was surprisingly normal. Even though I kept looking over my shoulder and bumping at every laugh I heard in the hallways between classes, I didn't hide, nor hair of Leon or Vincent. Nor here, you mean. Huh? Is that even possible? Given the past week, the near-death experience, assault, fights, and so on. Does it make any sense at all for both of them to just stop hovering around me? No. It doesn't. It doesn't at all. This just feels like the calm before the storm. Aww. Which makes sense. Valentine's Day is around the corner. This is more or less the climax of the game. I suppose I did pretty well surviving all the way to this point, but... I can't rely on anything anymore. The game's gone completely off script. There are so many unknown variables and new characters. Huh? Is it even the same game anymore? No one acts the way I remembered them. I jump at the sound of the bell. Right. Worry about that later. I don't want to feel English. Alright. What's up now? Huh? My blurry classmates chatter around me. It's the last day of, it's the last class of the day. The teachers finished classes a couple of minutes early. So he lets us relax before the last bell rings. Aww. I put my head down on my notes and pray the knowledge will osmosis itself into my brain. I don't remember any teacher in my high school covering two chapters in one 45-minute lesson. This isn't even an AP class. Mm. Not feeling any particular interest in chatting with classmates, I can't even see. I pull out my phone. Huh? What teenager doesn't use social media these days? I don't know if that's depressing or impressive. At this point, I've gone through the device multiple times now, but without any hints as to the protagonist's name. Huh? Perhaps if I look at someone else's phone. Ah. Uh. It's worth considering when I manage to get a hold of one. I scroll through the disappointingly short contact list. It consists only of my parents, my brother, and Leon. Leon. Huh. I can't text any of them. I'll text the brother, I guess? Hmm. What should I say? Absentmindedly, I ask him what he wants for dinner tonight. Ooh. The one upside to being sick, I don't have to pretend to know how to cook dinner. He asked for Vietnamese food, and I hurried to find what nearby restaurants they are. Huh? Again? 
Um, oh, there's one last choice. Uh, text parents. I tap out in contacts, label mom, and find a new conversation. I blink. Huh? Weird. But the protagonist never texted his mom before. Curious, I tap on dad contacts as well to find another blank conversation. And they simply not close. Still, I type in a quick message. I'm home from the hospital. I hit sand and stare at a blank screen. I suppose if there's no conversation in history, it makes sense that I wouldn't get a response right away. I proceed to click out a conversation when I see three... When I see a bubble with three dots pop up. Huh? But then it stops and disappears. I wait a little while longer, but there's no response. With a huff, I exit the conversation. Huh? Again? There's one last choice. I'll text Leon. Do I really want to text him? Yeah. With a reserved sigh, I type up a short message, the typical one after a fight. Hey. I stare at the screen blankly for a few minutes before exiting the conversation. I don't know what I was expecting. Like, come on. I really want to make up with him? I just don't like fighting with anyone. It hurts too much to be angry. To stay angry. By the time the bell rings, I still get, don't get a response from him. <sighs> For once, I'm going home alone. Aww. Wow, it's pouring out there. I'm looking down from the second floor window to a variety of colorful umbrellas gushing out one of the school exits. I watch one student try to make a break for the station with only his bag pulled over his head. He's still within view as he's already drenched. The bag couldn't protect his hair and clothes from getting soaked. Aww. I don't have an umbrella. I think I'll wait it out. Aww. It's been half an hour, but the weather doesn't look any better. Beep? It's a message from my brother. Hey, where are you? You're not home yet. Oops. Hard to pick up dinner now. I quickly type up an apology and a short explanation of what happened. It's not that late yet. The stores will definitely be open by the time I get back to order. I look out the window and let out a huff. Thanks to the rainy weather, the sun's disappeared behind the horizon faster than usual, even for winter. Better leave now before it gets completely dark. I take my first step into the pouring rain and water leaks into the holes of my sneakers immediately. Ah! I groan as I take the first few steps with wet socks to make it down the street towards the station. Aww. Ah, damn it. I can barely see with the rain pelting on my face. I know it's raining, but it's a little weird that I haven't seen anyone. It's rush hour, right? Huh. Huh? Did I see someone duck behind a tree? Be the hiding from the rain. Wait a minute. Oh no. I'm being paranoid. Yeah, this is definitely it. The station is this way after all. Hmm. It's only three more blocks to the station. Aww. I'm completely drenched. But what's more worrying is they're keeping about 20 feet away. But I think they're following me. Oh no. How do I know? Gut feeling. Think. Think. What should I do now? Run? Maybe I should run. Maybe I should continue to stay. I don't. I don't know. Oh, frick. I guess I'll run. Uh, I don't know. All right. Screw this. I gotta get out of here. I keep an eye out for them as I turn the corner. Once I'm out of their sights, I break into a run down the street. The rushing rain makes it difficult to hear. They're chasing after me. I dare take a peek. Yep. They're still chasing. There's no doubt. Ah! What is this? What is this? Which event is this? What do I do? Where am I even going? I'm just running blindly. Smack! Wait, what? Who did I smack into? Whoever I ran into grabs my arms to steady me. Sorry, I gotta... Actually, I need help. Some people are chasing... Oh no. It's the rain changes direction again. I can see the sprout of the person I'm talking to. It's the same hat as my pursuers. No! 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 There's something the matter. Ah! Kidnapper! Revealed back, but he holds on tight. A grin melting into a grit teeth. No. Let go of me! What's wrong? I thought you needed my help. <laughs> ah! I see the other two running towards me now. I need to get away. No. Let go of me! I talk harder, but he returns to grinning at me. From behind me, I can see the other two kidnappers approaching me. No, no, no! What do I do? What am I supposed to do in this situation? 
Call for Leon. Why? Is he here right now? What? What is he even doing here? Is he just watching me right now? I'll call for Leon! A hand clamps down my shoulder and I try to pull in a third direction. No. Get away! Get away from me! There's no point in wondering the how and why now. I'll save that trouble for future me. Leon, help! Help me, Leon! You're all you want. There's no one around. We made sure of that. Huh? What? How? Doesn't want to be in these areas of the city during rush hour. No way. The guy's definitely here. Definitely. The game wouldn't give me the option otherwise, right? Right? Sure, sure. You keep telling yourself that, kid. Let's get out of this rain. Where's the car waiting again? It's another block down. The side street. Right before the station. Right by the station. How bold are these buttholes? They start pulling me down the street. My feet drag as I try to break free from them. Leon! Hey, Leon! Where are you? Help me! He's there, right? There's no way the game would give me that choice if he wasn't, right? I yelled for him a few more times, but one of the kidnappers suddenly clapped my hand over my mouth. You are so annoying. Your boyfriend isn't coming. Stop your squealing! No! <laughs> my leg trips over the curb. They've dragged me to a whole block already. Didn't they say that car's only a block away? No! No, but they throw me in there. I'm done for! Desperately, I bite down the kidnapper's hand, causing him to flinch and cry out. What? He bit me! Just hold on to him. We're almost there. It's annoying, but this has been the easiest job so far. He's just a kid. Yeah, I'd take this to dodging bullets any day. You wouldn't be saying that if you're the one he bit. Let go of me! I elbow the one standing behind me, but it doesn't even flinch. But behind me, I hear the sound of a van door sliding open. That sounds more like, like the cover or something. I'm tossed in before I could even turn towards the car. Ugh. My arms are pulled behind me and I hear the screech of duct tape being unrolled. My wrists are bound together from behind me before I recover from the throw. By the time I'm able to register what's happening, the fourth man waiting in the car had already wrapped several layers of duct tape around my wrists and started on my ankles. No! Stop! The blurry figure turns towards me and I watch as the sprite form a creepy grin just as he slaps a piece of duct tape over my mouth as well. Ugh! Ow! Butthole! I throw myself towards him in one more attempt to knock both of us out of the van, but, but he dodges and reaches out to pull the door shut just in time for me to run myself into the metal of the car door. Ow! At least to my satisfaction, the van rocks in response. Just take a nap. What are you so worked up for? You should consider yourself lucky. Huh? Lucky? Excuse you! Just got dragged into a van and duct tape over my mouth! Which part of this is lucky? Clear me all you like, but you're going to have a better life than me, so try to see what's at the end of the train ride. I'm sure I would if I actually got on the train like I was supposed to. In the front, one of the men climbs into the driver's seat and starts the engine. Another joins him on the passenger side. Hurry up! I hear him switching gears as the back door cracks open. The last kidnapper boards the van. Oi! Why is he on the ground like that? You're supposed to be watching over him! Does he look like he'll get far? Don't know. He could roll out or something. Yes, and then I'll just do the worm out into the road where I'll be run over by a car. I think I just shared an eye roll with Kidnapper D. Whatever. Let's go. I hear the shift stick being shifted, then whoop. Never been more thankful to hear that sound in my life. In fact, the only times I've ever felt thankful to hear that sound in my life. What the hell? A flat tire. No way. Everything was fine this morning. Well, I'm going... I'm getting a low-pressure indication, and we just heard the tire make a sound. What else could it be? Fine, I'll go take a look. Kidnapper B opens a door and jumps out of the van. Plunk! No way. Hey! You're right out there! He also leaves the van, and I see him walk around to the other side through the windshield. You're kidding. There's no way this is playing out like a cheesy action flick scene, right? Ah! Clunk. What the heck? Wait! But it was too late to pull his buddy back. Kidnapper C opens a back door and... Clunk! <laughs> it would be even funnier if they used like the metal pipe sound. He gets smacked over the head by a... A... Is that a metal pipe? <laughs> 
Uh, holy poo! Where do you even get a metal pipe? Ah! Stay back! The last conscious kidnapper slams my head into the floor of the van, probably in an attempt to keep me from escaping, completely forgetting his previous tirade about how I can't. Ugh. But damn, that hurt. I raise my head a little to see what's going on and feel my liquid gush out of my nose. Oh. It takes a few seconds for my eyes to focus onto Leon, who stares at me in disbelief. I watch his lips tremble in indecision over what to say as his knuckles turn white from gripping the pipe. Oh no, no, no. You. There's a shift in the wind and rain gushes into the van. The kidnapper flinches and covers his face from the oncoming torrent of rain. That mistake was all Leon needed to jump into the van and swung the pipe across Kidnapper D's face. Ugh! He tries to get up, but Leon bashes down again. He repeats this a few more times before the kidnapper passes out with blood streaming down his face. Didn't the other guys go down in one hit? Maybe they were lucky. Ugh. I push myself up and try to sit up to get Leon's attention. Before I can raise my muffled voice, he swings the pipe down again, causing me to jump and scoot back. No! Wait, come on, move! He's gonna kill him! Uh, ah! No, no, stop! Don't kill him. I don't want to see that! I pull myself over and grab at his ankles. Leon turns towards me with his bad race and swings towards me instead. What? Towards me? Did I read that right? This is what I get for trying to save someone! I squeeze my eyes shut and brace for impact, but... As I feel the rush of air from the swing, it doesn't reach me. Hesitatingly, I squint open my eyes and find the pipe less than an inch from my nose. Above, Leon pants with wide eyes and blood splatter across his face. Hmm. Uh. We stay silent for what feels like a century, if only the sound of her panting and the patter of rain on the metal roof of the van. Oh, oh no. I... He drives. <laughs> I don't know why the sound of the metal pipe is so funny. Why is it funny? Someone explain to me the meme in the comments. He drops the pipe in horror as he crouches down beside me. Oh. What was I? Sorry, I. Oh. Hmm. Uh, right. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Brings up a hand to my jaw and I flinch, automatically drawing back. Oh. Uh, uh, sorry. Here, let me free your hands first. He pulls a pocket knife from his pocket and cuts open the tape binding my wrist. With my hands free, I immediately reach up to pull off the tape, keeping my mouth shut. Ah! ah! I was too rash for that. Huh? Leon, holy, what are you doing here? Uh, well, I, uh, whew. I'm glad you were, though. Holy, what even happened? Ugh. He's stirring. Leon didn't bash their heads hard enough. Just as I was about to yell about it, he grabs a pipe and lands a hit across his head, knocking him out again! <laughs> oh my god! You piece of poo. How dare you? He raises the pipe again for another hit, and I quickly grab his arm. No. Leon! Leon! Forget it. Let's get out of here. Can you cut the tape around my legs? Mm. What? Oh yeah! Actually, why don't we get out of here first? I can carry you. Huh? Uh, I'm pretty sure unbiting me would be easier. Leon shifts his eyes and I spot some pink on his ears. Fine, let's just get out of here. I don't have the energy to argue with him. <laughs> and then just locking me around on his shoulder, just like, there, there. You, you're, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Just patting my butt as he goes along. <sighs> the doors close behind us and a half full train stares at us as we walk in bloody and dripping wet. I start towards one end of the train, with Leon tailing me. The other passengers immediately move away and find another seat at the end of the train. Who knew? The easiest way to find a seat on the train during rush hour or rainy day is just to walk in covered in blood. Thank God the trains are all still running. If they flooded, I don't know where we would hide fast enough. Uh, where are you standing? Just sit down. I pat the seat next to me, pick the corner to hope we would attract the least attention. Seriously, just praying no one would call the police on us at the next stop. I mean, come on. I'm sure people have looked worse on the train. Oh, no. So two kids bloody and bruised with backpacks up to school is probably at least number eight on their top ten worst things they've seen. Uh, is this really okay? 
I wouldn't have offered it if it wasn't. He averts his eyes and raises an eyebrow, and finally, as the train begins to slow down while approaching the next stop, he nods and slides off his backpack to take the seat next to me. The moment he does, he leans back and practically collapses against the back of the seats, lets out a huge sigh of relief. Hmm. Hey, don't fall asleep now. <laughs> You'll wake me when we get to our next stop, right? He doesn't wait for an answer. Instead, he hunches over his backpack and closes his eyes like everything's normal. Normal? What even is normal anymore? We don't talk even after we get off the train. I don't know. We're both too tired, maybe. Neither of us know what to say. Yeah, there's a lot of questions I want to ask, but I'm too tired to think them through. Let me just pretend to have this moment of peace. Uh, I'll walk you back. Huh? Huh? You don't have to do that. We're both tired. There's no need to make him walk a few extra blocks just to escort me. <laughs> yeah, well, you just got attacked half an hour ago. I'm walking you back. All right, there's that. Do you want to come in? We can at least patch you up before we go back. <laughs> it's fine. This is normal for me, remember? Huh? Uh, what? Mm. Honestly, we should have gotten you patched up at my place first to avoid scaring your brother. My brother. Right. Oh. I'll ask what he means by normal. Leon, what do you mean by normal for you? Uh. Huh? Oh, uh, you know, like back then, I mean, uh. He suddenly becomes fairly flustered. I haven't broken my promise, okay? Everything today was a first in a long time. Look, I... Um... He looks at me with pleading eyes. Please, believe me. I believe you. Even if I'm not sure what about you I'm believing. That seemed to calm him down, though. He zaps back off the porch. I'll see you tomorrow? I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Leon. Ah! Hey, bro! I saw you were talking of Leon outside! What were you? Whoa! My brother bounds up to me as I lock the door behind me. He's cheerful until he catches the sight of the blood that and bruises all over my face. No. Nothing. We weren't talking about anything. I take off my shoes and make sure to put them away in the cabinet this time. Big bro! Sorry. We got to get food tonight. Did you make do with snacks tonight? I don't think we should open that door again tonight. I, uh, well, yeah. Okay, good night. I'm going to rest early tonight. Uh, well. Stumble into my room without hearing the rest of his sentence. What's going on? Hmm. I stare unhappily at the ceiling light of my room, listening as the birds get louder and louder. Looks like I woke up well before they did today. Aww. Frick. I sit up with a sigh. I was so tired from all the events that I looked, I knocked out almost immediately after a shower to clean up from the fight. Aww. I ended up wa waking up in the middle of the night from a nightmare of getting kidnapped. That was an hour ago. Mm. After 30 minutes, the sky finally starts getting lighter. I'm guessing some winter birds decided it was time to start the concert. Will this haunt me even when I get back to my own body? Seriously, a couple days ago, I thought nothing would top being pinned down for a kiss. My eyes drift down to the date box. Aww. The 12th. Two more days till Valentine's Day. Can I get a round of applause for making it this far? Wait, what? Huh? Hello? Can I... Can I get another round of applause or a weapon? <laughs> Whoa! Wait, what? What? There's a choice? Was there only one choice? Hold on, the game's talking back to me. Uh, don't push it, buddy. Huh? Nothing's happening. Hmm. I suddenly wonder about the other choices. Truth be told, it always feels like nothing happens when I select one of those choices. How do I know something different actually happens? For all, all I know, I could really just be hallucinating. After all, nothing is happening as I remembered. I could be an idiot playing psychic for all I know. But this... This is the first time I've had someone talk to me through the fourth wall. Huh? Hello? God? System? No answer. I sigh. If whatever God Isekai mean to this game had the ability to talk to me and just didn't until now, he probably didn't want to talk to me to begin with. So, you've just been watching me struggle here with a sadistic f What a sadistic fellow you must be. 
Looks like I'm not getting an answer out of them. I wait a few more minutes and my alarm goes off. I quickly snooze and get out of bed. I mean, I'm clearly not getting any more sleep. Four more days. Come on, I can do it. Hmm. Ah! Oh, frick, Leon! Mm. Ow. I open the door into Leon. Of course he's sitting on the stoop at seven in the morning. Morning, Leon. My younger brother breezes past like nothing happened. Huh? What are you doing here? After what happened last night, I figure I should come pick you up. Part of me is insulted because I'm a grown man who can fight his own battles. But the other part agrees that it's hard to fight against trained professional kidnappers. Aww. And a little hurt in the ego that Leon can. Uh, what happened last night? Uh, nothing! Um, uh-huh. Fine. I won't pry. We should hurry or we'll be late. He walks a good distance ahead of us, but Leon and I still whisper just in case. Uh, We're not telling him? No. I feel like there's nothing worth telling him about. Hmm. I don't want to involve him, you know? Uh, you know, you're going to eventually... Just by being brothers. Huh? Really? Well, it doesn't have to be now. If I survive past Valentine's Day, I'll consider telling him everything. Ooh. I just have a bad feeling about telling him everything. Anyway, about those guys yesterday, I think... I think they were for Vincent. Yeah, definitely. Oh. I know you're going to think I'm just jealous, but... Wait, you believe me? Huh? Yeah, why wouldn't I? Uh... Well, you always seem to defend him. Really, who else could it be? Most of the characters in this game don't even have sprites, and Vincent's the only one with enough money to hire kidnappers. But, thank you. Ah! Oh no, my monologue overwrote his dialogue! What do you say? Ugh, no problem. Leon smiles back at me, and I find myself smiling back earnestly. Through all this, he was actually quite dependable. I'm glad he's on my side. The next day passes by peacefully. Also, both Leon and I suspect Vincent was behind the kidnapping. We don't have any proof. The thought crosses my mind to call the police, but when I bring that up, Leon panics. I hope he hasn't killed someone, and I didn't notice. Hmm. The thirteenth. I dot the final period on this essay and pull out a new sheet of loose leaf to work on the next one. My phone buzzes. Distracting me from starting my argument about the parallels in contemporary literature we read in three days. It's a message from Leon telling me that he's done with practice for the day. Aww. What? I've been here for two hours already. My stomach growls as though to remind me of how late it's getting. I've only made it through two out of my four essays. I quickly text a reply. Heads are right, just go home first. He replies, asking if I was sure. I text another affirmation and he agrees, saying he'll check on with me later tonight. It's sweet of him. It really does help put my nerves to ease. <clears throat> You're supposed to be riding or else I'm gonna be leaving giving you a zero. <laughs> yes, sir! I pick up my pencil and resume riding. Maybe if I ride as big as I can, it'll make the essay seem longer and then he'll let me go. I'm done. <sighs> I drop the pencil and claps on the desk. Bring it. <sighs> Never mind, I'll get it. He collects the papers from my desk as my stomach lets out a particularly loud growl. Will you be alright? I'll buy something to eat on the way home. Thanks for staying behind to help me finish. I don't do it for just anyone. Huh? huh? You're normally so hardworking, so I made an exception. Oh, thanks. Besides, it looked bad if one of the best students in the school suddenly dropped in his grades. Yeah. Aww. Thanks. No pressure or anything. All right, get going now. Be careful going home. I will. Bye. Hmm. My stomach lets out another growl, and I actually stopped to wait for the pain to pass. I didn't think it was possible to have actual hunger pains. This is video game logic. It had happened in something. What? Huh? What? Wait. Why can't I say the name? What? Why won't it let me say copyright? Whatever. Where's the closest deli? Hmm. Hungry. Chocolate bar is thrust into my vision. I grab it without hesitation. Oh my god, yes. I tear it open and immediately take several large ba- Are you an idiot? <laughs> Why? The effects are immediate. The pain subsiding substantially as I finish the bar. 
Who knew a single chocolate bar could be life-saving? I guess they are chock full of calories. Mm -hmm. Better? Yes, thanks. Vincent! Did you just realize? His sprite is right there! Oh no, I didn't even notice. The one and only. Huh? What are you doing here? I go to school here. I mean, it's so late. Why are you here? It's like, what time is it? Anyway, it's pure, it's pitch black out there. Should have gone home hours ago. Hmm. I just had some lingering chores left to do today. Chores? Just a few things I had the teachers to take care of. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? I stumble and Vincent reaches out to steady me, which I wave off. Must be tired after all that essay, right? You are losing consciousness! Hmm. You all right? Just a little lightheaded. Here, why don't you lean on me while we walk downstairs? Something is wrong with the situation, but I slump over him, relieved that I don't have to focus so hard anymore. There, there. Good boy. You're so cute. See? How easy it is if you just leave everything to me. You are the least reliable character in this game, Vincent! Nobody likes- well, a lot of people like you- WHY AM I HERE?! WHERE AM I?! I blink blurrily at my surroundings, trying to clear the fog in my eyes. Oh, I push myself off from the bed, startled by the sound of rustling chains. Huh? Uh, I try to make sense of it, but it's so hard to focus. I can't seem to move any further than this. You're awake. Huh? Vincent? Mm. You recognize me. Aww. What's going on? I can't. My head. Mm. No, no. Don't try to move. What a shame. It was late today. <laughs> The teachers were throwing a fuss and didn't let me leave because that Neanderthal was throwing a tantrum. I feel his hand against my cheek as the bed di dips as he climbs on. I feel his hair tickle my neck and shoulders as he settles behind me to cuddle. I'll give you your medicine soon. This is nice too. Huh? What? Medicine? <laughs> his arm reaches under my body to wrap me in a hug and his breath on my nape makes me shiver. Hmm. Are you cold? Don't worry. I'll keep you warm. Yeah, so nice to have you respond to me for once. Huh? For once? How long has it been? My strip to the corner where the date box should be and force my eyes to focus. One, one, six. February 16th? <laughs> it's past Valentine's Day. Wait, is this? Is this Vincent's bad end? Vincent, wait, no, stop. I struggle in his grip, but I can't free myself. Not on this haze. <laughs> Of course you'd act up like this without medicine either. He hugs me tighter, breath blowing gently against my ear, making me squirm again. <laughs> Wait here. He finally lets go of me. I feel him leaving the bed, followed by the sound of the door closing. Ugh. I struggle against the chains, but I'm sure even if I was sober, I wouldn't be able to get out of these. Shoot. I need to get out of here. <laughs> I don't want to be drug addled forever. Did it even happen this way in the game? I don't remember. I don't care. I need to get out of here. Pull hard at the chains. <gasps> Hello? Someone help me! Help! Please. Door opens again. I see the blurry pink color of Vincent standing at the doorway. <gasps> Vincent, stay away! Someone help me! What are you doing here? Huh? huh? Vincent! Did he bring you in here? Cuh. I knew that boy has been spending an abnormal amount of time here. That isn't Vincent. His voice it sounds a little different. Name. What's the name box say? Hmm. It's blurry. It can't focus. Uncle. Who's uncle? Vincent's? But what the hell? Why are you here? <coughs> help. Help me. Vincent's locked me up here. Please. I don't want to be here. <coughs> Why isn't he helping? Seeing anyone in this state, they would help, right? Wait, if he's Vincent's uncle, does he not want Vincent to get in trouble? Please, just help me. I won't tell anyone about this. I won't even come back. Heck, I'll move to the other side of the world if I have to. I won't come back. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> Didn't you promise that already last time? I gave you everything for that promise. Yet, you're still here. His blurry figure comes closer, and finally I can make out his features. <gasps> he looks just like Vincent. No way. I don't trust you anymore. There's only one way to make sure you never say a word to anyone. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah! Oh my god! 
His hands are suddenly around my throat, squeezing the air on my lungs. S stop! I'm so sick of you. Help! Vincent, help me! I'm back. It took me a while to find a medicine. I wonder if someone moved my things. Don't they know how this is important for you? Hey. Hey, wake up! Wake up! No! No, please, wake up! Wake up! Bad and two? What? Ah! Yeah! Ah! Big bro, what's wrong? Huh? huh? I... I guess for air, staring at my younger brother as his head turns every which way, trying to find whatever monster had come to attack me. I think I had a nightmare. 2nd of February, what? Uh, I see. Are you okay? Do you want some water? Hey. No, I'm fine. <laughs> it's time for school? Wait, wait, what? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Just give me a moment. I'll be right out. Okay, sure. He leaves the room and closes the door right behind him. Aww. My thoughts are all scrambled. Then I die. It's a really a nightmare. I'm still stuck here. Huh? huh? The date box. It's February 2nd again. What do you mean by again? Wait. Oh my god, that was the end? Okay, so I had to go back and redo my entire run. Because apparently I'm supposed to precariously like balance both like Leon and Vincent's uh, affection points. So now I've got them on equal, I think like one or two each. But anyway, let's head off back to where we were. Four more days. Come on, I can do it. Good morning. He eyes the box of cereal on the table and raises an eyebrow. Aww. I didn't want to go outside. Oh. I'm not sure he could have hit the disappointment of the continuous decline of his breakfast, even if he tried. He takes a seat and pours himself a bowl of cereal. Are you okay? You feeling better? Yeah, totally. Uh... Is it pointless to ask you to stay home again? I almost want to say yes, but then I wonder if someone's going to break into the house while I'm home alone. School's safer, right? With so many students? I don't want to overthink it. Yeah, I'm going to school. I open the door and find Leon sitting on the stoop. He turns to us and stands immediately. Oh. Good morning. Huh? Leon, hey, what are you doing here? Uh, you didn't tell him? Hmm. Uh, huh? tell me what? Oh, uh, I was going to meet up with you guys at your house today. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense now. He grins and walks ahead. Hmm. That was surprisingly perceptive of Leon. You all right? Yeah, fine, all right. We follow my brother down the street. Damn, why are things suddenly so awkward? It doesn't help that my brother keeps sneaking peeks back at us like he thinks he's third wheeling us. He's not, but I guess he also is. Oh. By the way, uh, are you doing anything this uh, Saturday? Why is he acting like this? Saturday? Yeah, I don't think I'm... My eyes drift to the date box again. Saturday. Three days away. Oh no. oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You can't be asking me out on Valentine's right now, right? Ah! I mean, I'm doing everything. I'm, uh, I mean, the game does. Uh, ah. Oh, frick. Really? Uh, chase the topic. Chase the topic. Yeah. Yeah. What topic? Leon looks at me expectantly. Um, game? Choices? Now's your time to shine. Give me any hints at all, please. Well, uh, um, long guy dragged us, the hard it is to find a smooth transition to another topic. Aww. So, uh, the sky is very blue today. Hey! Hey, the train's already here. You gotta hurry. Oh my god. Saved. Love my brother. Uh, who? Leon, let's go! Oh. Uh, yeah, coming. By some miracle, I managed to stick close enough to my brother that Leon doesn't ask again. Okay, think, think. How do these two ask the main character out in the game? The Valentine's date is the last event in the game. If I was on a single route with either of them, I could afford to say yes, but... If I say yes to one of them, what would the other one do? Huh? Will whoever I reject accept that? I better just avoid both of them. Huh? Avoid who? No. 
Oh, nothing, nothing. Where's your homeroom again? Uh huh? Huh? Why, it's, uh... Oh, good. That's not too far away. Nothing. Are you sure you don't want to join us for breakfast today? Um... Uh, I'm good. You're not going to third wheel. Aww. I wish I could say that. Well, it should be fine. If I remember correctly, Leon doesn't have the courage to ask the main character out until lunchtime. It's cute, but that's not very romantic. To be fair, you can't really make it very romantic in the school. Either way, I'll just, uh, avoid his advances when he tries. Demoralizing, I'm sure. I've been there, but I don't think I care anymore. Oh, no. It's probably Vincent who'll be a bigger problem. He ambushes the main character during homeroom by the toxic butthole he is. So I'm just not going to be there. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Getting breakfast? Uh, yeah. Hmm. He keeps looking at me. I'm just going to pretend I don't notice. Oh. By the way, who do you think those guys... Hey, isn't that cloud cute? Looks like a knife. Hmm. Oh, it does look like a knife. <laughs> So I wonder if the MC is okay. What were you saying again? Yeah, uh, nothing. Never mind. He unpacks both of our mini pancakes and syrup packs over him. Yeah, I catch him sneaking a glance at me, turning bright red and averting his eyes again. Thank goodness, because I was definitely smirking smugly. Okay, now I have to not go to homeroom at all. Is something wrong? Yeah, I need to give something to my brother, so... Why don't you go ahead to your class? Uh, I can walk with you. No, uh, no I, I don't want to go to class at all. It'll take a while, so don't worry about it. I won't allow it. Someone tried to kidnap you yesterday. Of course I'm not letting you out of my sight. Thanks, Leon, but I'll be fine. There are so many students and teachers here. There's no way they'll be able to attack me again. Besides, I wouldn't call it completely safe around you either, but I best keep that to myself. He still looks unconvinced, so I step forward and pat him on the arm. You'll be the first one I call if something happens. Besides, I'll be with my brother, so it'll be fine. Hmm. True. At least he's got more muscle than you. Oh, 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 Leon, why? Huh? He does. I'll ask him to walk me back to my class. That's only half a lie. I don't plan to go to homeroom at all. All right. Let me walk you to his class, at least. Thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, what are you doing here? Hiding? Uh -huh. From what? I start around the room and spot some shadows walking around delivering roses and chocolates. Looks like they're delivering Valentine's chocolate today during the once a week homeroom. Uh, a confession going wrong? You bought one of those dumb Valentine's gifts? You've seen how they corner people. This is just sad. Please just let me hang out with you for homeroom. I won't say anything to the teacher. You're the best, little bro. I move in to grab him for a hug, but he ducks and leaves me stumbling through air. No way! Stop that! It's gotten into you recently. Yeah, right. Sorry. You just really saved me, that's all. The bell rings and students rush out of the classroom. Ooh. I take a deep breath. Still have for lunch. I've spent all morning mentally preparing myself for this, and now it's time to get out into the battlefield. <sighs> the best case scenario is that this plays out exactly like the game, with Leon getting called away by his teammates during lunch for some team building exercise. Worst case scenario, I dodge his advances for the full lunch period. Hey! Hey, Leon. Aww. I can't let my guard down for a second this game, huh? You sure got out of here fast. Wouldn't want to dwell in one place for too long, right? Also, I've gotten incredibly used to school's layout at this point. Uh, would you? <gasps> Let's hurry and get some lunch! Uh, would want to wait until lunch line's too long, right? Ah, uh, right. After we get food, we find an empty table to sit for lunch. Aww. At least it looks edible today. Fries are usually safe. It's hard to screw those up. Mm. Hey, about this weekend. S Saturday, I mean. Frick! Oh. Are you, uh, I mean... Damn it. It's actually adorable how much he's struggling. I mean, he he only almost killed a guy yesterday. Uh, Saturday. I think there's a game I want to catch on TV. A game? Yeah. Oh, poo. Is there even a game on Saturday? Leon of all people would know, wouldn't he? I mean, an H-O? Wait, what? 
Who even watches time-sensitive television anymore? If I miss something, I'll just find it online. Aww. Bring me back to the 2000s, damn it. Bring me back to valid excuse! Uh, what show did you want to watch? I don't know, what shows are popular here in Yandere land? Maybe we can watch it together. Like, net. Hey, Leon, there you are. A blue shadow in a basketball jersey runs up towards our table. All I can tell from his sprite is that he is nervous based on the sweat attribute. Why? Why could the artist have spent a bit more time on the detail? What are you doing over here? Huh? Did you forget? Coach wants us to get some extra practice in today for our next game. Uh, oh, right now? Yeah, right now. Why else would I be in uniform right now? Right, sorry, uh... He looks back at me and I quickly shake my head. Don't worry about me. Go right ahead. I mean, I'll go sit with my brother. I'll be fine, Leon. Go to your game. Okay. Alright, alright. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you later. Mm. It's okay. Really, in fact. I prefer you didn't. Okay. Looking forward to it. I force a smile as he grabs his bags and follows his teammate out of the cafeteria. Mm. Oh, God. Ah! Wait, this means I'm safe! I avoid her being asked out by both Yanderis. Yes. I couldn't help pumping my fist in the air in victory. Ugh, what a relief. This means... This means I survived! I survived the game! Ooh. I can relax now. Still, I should find my brother. I took my photo and text him a quick message, asking if he could come find me. Uh. Hey. <laughs> Whoa, that was quick! Ah! I swivel over the bench to find myself face to face with... Rem? I'm stunned speechless as we stare at each other. What's she doing here? I heard you're not doing anything on Saturday. Huh? What? Well, who did you hear that from? You. Huh? Hmm. You just said it. All you were going to do was watch TV. That is... Mm. So you're free, right? Watching TV is important, you know. Please understand. Did you need something, Rem? Yeah, on Saturday. Oh, Wait, no. Saturday? Why? No, not her too! No! Oh, no, no, I thought I'd avoid her around completely! Why is she asking? Wait, that's the reverse in the game. The player asks her since a guy has to. Huh? Oh, wow, that's kind of sexist. It didn't occur to me until just now. So, can you do it? Huh? Huh? Oh, no. Miss what she said completely. My monologue covered up everything she was saying. Hmm. Would you come with me to the mall on Saturday? Huh? The mall? Wait, why are you asking me? I don't think the date for a route was the mall in the game. Can you come? No. Uh... Ah, oh, freak no. Give me another choice, game. No! Not like that! Take it away, take it away! I don't want that as an option! Uh. So can you come? Oh, wait. Wait, I actually wanted to go on a date with her! Come on! Please! Oh, why couldn't she be a love interest? I don't mind being cut up! You know how I feel about danger! Ah! Please! Come on! Ah! Uh, uh, Leon, best boy! No. No, sorry. I'm going somewhere with Leon. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me! I see. Aww. Aww. She looks so sad. Ironically, she's been kindness to me since I got trapped here. Probably because all I do is avoid her. I'm being used rather loosely here. Uh. Is what you're doing together going to take the whole day? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Alright. I'll ask someone else. Huh? Does it have to be on Valentine's Day? Uh. It's Valentine's Day on Saturday? Oh. Hmm. So it wasn't a date? I'm not sure if I should feel relieved or disappointed. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. Hope your date goes well. Huh? Huh? Did I miss a social cue somewhere? Why do I have to pick? Ask her to stay. I'm asking her to stay because I actually like Rem. Wait, hold on a minute. Rem, could you wait here for a bit? Okay. Sure. Ah! Holy cow! Huh? huh? There seems to be some sort of ruckus on the other side of the cafeteria. It seems to be getting closer. The crowd of students surrounding whatever is happening on the other side parts and I get a glimpse ah! of... Is that a whole platform decorated row? Oh, no, it's Vincent! It's definitely Vincent! Is that a, is that a school band? It's for Valentine's Day? Whoa. Whoever he's asking sure is lucky. Huh? Who? Who's asking? Oh, it's coming this way. Maybe I'll be able to see. 
No! A bouquet of roses covers my entire vision before I can read the banners on the platform. Hello. No! No! Just... No! Anyone but Vincent! Literally! I wouldn't mind going with, like, stranger number 24 rather than you! Hi, honey. The flowers get lowered, and I finally see a variety of Happy Valentine's Day and for my sweetheart plastered across a platform of roses. The band playing some rendition of a popular love pop song above it. How did they even get something like that through the school doors? Vincent? The one and only. Oh, God. No. He stands and leans over me, our noses inches from touching. I haven't seen you in a while. Did you miss me? No! Huh. <laughs> I got your tongue, honey? Well, all you have to do is say yes to my next question. Or nod your head. I'll accept either one. Look! Okay, just for some context. I said no to kissing Vincent. Alright? Literally, my only perception of Vincent at this point is that I'm either like, eh, don't really care about him. Or like, he's a total prick! That's my perception of him on this run! WHY IS HE CALLING ME HONEY?! Gah! Wait, but I... The musicians finally stop playing and the entire cafeteria is in a hush, with every blue shadow turning to watch us. For once, I'm glad I couldn't see all of their eyes. I'm not sure I can take it. It didn't feel so ominous when I was playing this game, yet again, I was expecting that. But this... My eyes sweep across the cafeteria again as I start searching for an escape route. Maybe I can dash between the crowd and make it through one of the doors. How high up am I? What if I jumped out the window? Will the protagonist's armor... Hmm. Honey... Don't you dare call me honey! The bouquet is thrust my face again, lowered just enough so that I can see Vincent's face through the petals. I hear powder in my ears, my breath coming out in short gas as the smell of fresh flowers overwhelms me. B, my valentine. No! It said softly, but clearly, yet I could barely distinguish it, the tax box being the only thing saving me from missing it completely. My eyes flicker across the room, all the blue figures whispering to each other, the musicians lowering their instruments to watch us. I, I, you only need to say yes. How about I just shove this up your ass instead? Vincent's voice brings me to look at him again, the devious grin peeking out from the bouquet. Yeah. What do you mean, yeah, sure? Barely gas it out, but somehow the whole cafeteria hears and breaks out into cheers. <laughs> Perfect. Wonderful. I love you, honey. The bouquet is dropped and I'm caught in an impromptu hug instead. In between all the cheering and congratulations, I can barely focus. A large period ends before I can catch my breath. Vincent sat next to me, with his arms around my waist answering all the smiles and laughter with gusto, clearly glad to be the center of attention. He is such an intention slut. Vincent, could you get the f out of here? Oh, have I not been paying enough attention to you? He pulls me closer, the hand over my hip tighter, preventing any escape. <laughs> Aren't you need Screw the hell off! It's all right. I'll give you everything you'll ever need. You don't ever need to do anything ever again. I hear the other students gasp as he leans closer. <laughs> Wait, Vincent? No. Swear to God. Do I not have the option to punch him? I'd like to break his pretty nose. Uh hum. A hand pulls me back and away from Vincent. <gasps> Ram! Ryu, what are you doing here? <sighs> Look up and breathe a sigh of relief. Never thought I'd be glad to see Ram's blank expression. <laughs> I have a few things I need to talk to him about before lunch ends. Huh. Then you can talk about it here. Mm. I suppose so. Well, get on with it. Uh. It's about the homework. There's a question out there I was confused about. Huh? She's asking me. Wait, the protagonist is supposed to be smart originally. The bell goes off across the school intercom, making everyone jump. Even Vincent is surprised enough to loosen his grip on me. Make use of this chance to break free. Uh. Hey, Vincent. I'll see you later. He narrows his eyes at me. Looks like he's weighing his choices about pressing further to keep me around. There's no telling what the crowd would think of his actions at this point. <laughs> I'll text you about a date on Saturday. I never gave you my number! Okay. I ran as fast as I could to my next class. Ooh. Really couldn't get out of the cafeteria fast enough. 
Christ, this is the worst. Oh, no. I should have said no. I should have said no. How could I say no in front of everyone like that? Aww. A float with Nine Nine Roses and live music. Not sure anything could be more extra than that. As I take my seat, Rem walks into the classroom and past my desk. Huh. Rem! Huh? Why did you do that before? Mm. Should I not have? No. Well, no. Mm. You look like you didn't want to kiss. Oh my god, Rem is such a freaking sweetie. God. Huh? You care? Uh. I don't. Uh, it's clear that you care more than your character normally does. Uh. I don't care. Mm. I was just confused. What you going on a date with Leon? Ah. Eyes widen and my mouth drops open. Why did she remember that? Hey. Oh, right. God, I'll, uh, I'll sort that out. I see. Well, I fun on your date. She walks off and leaves me in my own misery. There's definitely something different about her. Has she changed from a young girl to a sundere? I let out a sigh as the teacher walks in and drops a stack of papers on his desk. Aww. He starts his lecture, and I bury my head in my arms. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Just let me sleep and fight with this later. Ugh, the day's finally over. So tired. Aww. Damn it. I can't believe I screwed up and ended up agreeing to go on a date with Vincent. The whole thing was so out of left field. Ugh, <sighs> enough of that. I'm going home. Oh, there he is! Huh? huh? I think those two blue shadows are looking at me. They both have jerseys on. They must be part of the basketball team. Hey, you're Leon's boy. I mean, um, Leon's friend, right? Yeah. Great, can you help us out with something? Wait, what? Sorry, we're just down a few heads today because some teammates are absent, so we need some help putting away all the equipment. Huh? How many people do you need to put away equipment? Please, we want to leave for the day too. Right, right, of course, I'll help out. I walk into a nearby empty gymnasium. Sunlight streams in from the windows on one side. A second floor balcony rings the whole gym. This place is huge. Huh? Huh, what equipment do you need to put away? The door shuts behind me before I can finish my said. This was a trap. Hey, what? Immediately try opening the doors again to no avail. They're locked. How did they even lock it? They're students. They should even have the key. Are they holding the door shut on the other side? They start banging on the door. No. Hey, this isn't funny. Open up. Oh, no. What are they planning? A few worst case scenarios play through my mind. No, no. They're just side characters. There's no way they'd harm me. Aww. Except I was chased down by kidnappers yesterday. These guys are teenagers though. You can't accomplish that much, right? <laughs> Laughter makes me whirl around. On the wall opposite me, a group of blue shadows are leaning over the second floor balcony. Below them, standing in the middle of the gymnasium, Leon stands, staring at his feet. Good luck, Leon! Huh? Leon? What's happening? There's no way he's going to hurt me. Eyes drift up to the white grins on blue shadows. No way. Oh, with so many people watching. Uh, I... Leon yeah, takes a step towards me, and I automatically try to shuffle a step back, but I'm greeted with the locked gym doors behind me. He continues to step closer as my eyes dart around for an escape route. Oh. I... Well, we've known each other for... I don't have time to pay attention to what he's saying! <laughs> Whatever it is, we... Can't we talk? Come on, Leon! Get it over with! What? Get over with! Oh. Go out with me on Saturday! He's so cute! He's so cute! How can I say no? Oh! A jump as a loud cheer erupts from the rest of the basketball team. Leon stands uncomfortably before me. He still looks away, but his eyes keep drifting to, to me, waiting for a response. Me? I... I blink at the scene before me, still trying to comprehend what's happening. Like, I'm honestly surprised so many words are being typed into the text box because I cannot... Huh? I'm... Leon just asked me out, right? Saturday? Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day. Come on. Leon, I... He turns to face me, hope lighting up in his eyes. Oh god, what do I do? Aww. Hey game, he just asked me an important plot question. Shouldn't there be an option for me to pick? Uh, um... Yeah, I forgot I said any. Say yes! Come on, say yes! <laughs> Shut up, butthole! Oh god, can I even say no? Is a whole basketball team going to beat me up if I reject him? 
Can I take on the whole basketball team? I can take him. Don't ask how. You all know how. Sure, they look like shadow demons, but oh, no. no, I. Yeah, sure. I'll go out with you on Valentine's Day. Yeah! Jesus Christ! But Leon did have a chance to react before the thundering sounds of the whole basketball team of teenage boys runs down to join us in the gym. They practically engulf Leon in cheers and congratulations as they pull him away from me. Oh. Uh, I'll take you later! They drag him away towards the other side of the gym, completely ignoring me. For a moment, I almost feel offended. With all the fanfare they made telling me to say yes, they just ignore me when it's over? Honestly, it's better that they're ignoring me. Next time, I need to process what the frick I just did. Ah! Frick! I scream in the pillows, I collapse on a couch. How? How could this happen? Not only did I fail to avoid getting a Valentine's Day date, but I got two! Two! Aww. Why can't I be this lucky outside of a video game? I was supposed to answer myself there. Ah, oh, frick, frick, frick! What am I going to do? I gotta go back on my agreement. Tend to be sick. What should be what should be my play here? Big bro. Whoa! Brothers peeks into the living room from the hallway before entering. Oh hey, sorry. You scared me. Uh, Is something wrong? No. Well, no, I was just surprised. Um, no, I mean, you were yelling and cursing before. Ah, right. Sorry. Did I bother you? I don't particularly care, but hearing you curse is different. Ah. Huh. Uh, I've been so worried about the two love interests, I forgot I'm supposed to be putting up an act now as the main character. Hmm. Sorry about that. I just had something on my mind. He continues to frown and flops down on the seat beside me. So why have you been acting so strange recently? <laughs> Uh, what, what? Strange? I haven't been strange at all. <laughs> what are you talking about? Not strange. No. He raises an eyebrow at me. Right? Are you okay? What's going on? Huh? Oh, wait. What? Is my brother ever so concerned for me in the original game? I guess it didn't really matter. Nothing matches up to the original game anymore. Hmm. But honestly, it's kind of nice to have someone worry about you. Hmm. I stare back, unable to pick a choice just yet. It's almost unfair. He's been nice and dependable throughout the whole game. Why couldn't he have been a love interest instead of my brother? Hey! 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 No! That's your brother! No! I chuckle internally to myself. Of course, if he had been, he'd probably be bad crazy like the other three too. Let out a sigh. I do want to tell him. Take a good load off my shoulders. But is it really alright involving him? Oh... Okay, also, just letting you guys know, okay, we are going to be going through three different endings here. Uh, the first of which is Leon's bad end, then Vincent's bad end, and then the actual survival route. So, in order for us to actually get one of those bad endings, it's to tell him what's bothering us. Yeah. I think if I just don't tell him about transmigrating, it'll be fine. I open my mouth. Are you sure? What? Huh? This hasn't happened before. This is making me nervous. Are you sure? Yeah. Already decided. There's no point in changing my mind now. What's the game trying to mess with me like this? It's obviously a trick. To tell you the truth, I am worried about something. He perks up at my words, attentive with concern written on his face. I relay to him the events of the past few days and my true feelings towards Leon and Vincent. It's difficult to begin since I'm so nervous as to what he would say. Will he even believe me? Will he actually be on my side? But I find that once I start talking, it becomes easier. Not even a matter of whether he believes me anymore. It's just good to not bottle up everything anymore. The fear, the anxiety, the panic. Feels good to let it out in the open rather than have it swirling aside. And so I have two dates for Valentine's Day. I can't be in two places at once. I see. I look over at him. What does he think? Does he believe me? Vincent is one thing, but it's also known Leon for years. Would he believe that Leon is as unhinged as I say he is? To my surprise, he gives me a level stare, a pensive look on his face, before his eyebrows fur down into a look of disappointment. He doesn't believe me. I should say something. Say it's a joke. That's an April Fool's prank before he... You've been dealing with this alone for so long? I wish you told me sooner. Huh? You believe me? Uh... Were you lying? <laughs> no, no, of course not. <laughs> then of course I believe you. But this is quite a problem. Aww. Yeah, honestly, if it was just one of them, I could still deal with it. Dodging one Andre's violent tendencies would be a cakewalk compared to balancing two. 
that case, who are you more afraid of? Huh? huh? Go on a date with a guy you're less afraid of. I'll take care of the other one. Take care of? <laughs> yeah, he was looking out for me, so this time, I'll help you out. I look at his tiny statue with a frown. Huh? What can you do? I'll think of something. At the least, I can help you tell him off if you're too scared to do it yourself. Thanks. I'll be sure to talk with them myself another time, too. Uh... You sure? Yeah, what kind of older brother will I be if I let my younger brother do all the heavy lifting? <laughs> yeah, I can definitely lift more than you, though. What? Well, no way! So, who is it that you're more scared of? Ooh. Uh, I'm actually more scared of Vincent, I guess? Let's go for Vincent for now. Vincent's definitely the scarier one. He's trying to poison me and probably the one who sent the kidnappers after me. Vincent. Vincent terrifies me. He just shows up one day saying he wants to be my friend. Next thing I know, he's trying to poison me or kidnap me. Um... We should probably go to the police about those things, but we don't have any proof. For anyone else, he might take our word with some interest and investigate it, but Vincent's family is. They probably get these sort of threats regularly from being such public figures. It's alright. I'll think of something. At the very least, I'll tell him to back off. It's something I want to confirm anyways. <laughs> Find your date with Leon tomorrow. You deserve it. What do I do to deserve a brother like you? I pull him into a hug, which he unsuccessfully tries to dodge. Hey, hey stop it! But seriously, thank you. Ooh. I feel like I have such huge weight off my shoulders now. It's not that big at all. You're welcome. Sindere. What'd you say? Nothing. Good night. Huh. This helps me relax a bit. Hmm. What's gonna happen here? Saturday. Valentine's Day. All right. Let's do this. Hmm. Ready to go? All I can muster out is a nod. <laughs> Try relax and have fun, alright? I mean, we've known him all our lives. We'll be fine. I suppose so. Pretty sure as long as I'm nice to Leon, he won't hurt me. Alright, we'll see you later. Bye. And thanks, little bro. Whoa, check it out! Is that a shark? It's huge! <laughs> Looks like it. Like sharks. I think they're pretty awesome. Yeah, you have a favorite, Leon. Never really thought about it. Yeah, I like Simithoids. Wait, they're not fish, just aquatic creatures. Well, that's fine. I hope we'll get to see some of those too. I doubt any aquarium would have something like that. Huh? Oh, huh? yeah, there's a shark coming this way. Ah! Where? Oh, wow. It's pretty awesome. We spent hours walking through all the rooms and seeing various fish within the tanks. Finally, we decided to visit the gift shop before leaving. Is something wrong, Leon? Ah, nothing. Is there anything you want? Well, every time I'm here, I'm tempted to buy every stuffed toy I see. They're always so adorable. Oh. Sorry. Probably can't afford that. Huh? Well, of course I don't expect you to buy all of it for me. But, first of all, I wouldn't even know where to put it all. There's only so much room in that house. And second, I don't need more than one thing to remember today. Oh. You want to remember today? Well, yeah, I had fun. I pick out a killer whale plushie. Gonna get this one? Okay. Sure. I thought you liked sharks. I like them, but I like orcas more. Huh? Oh, you want anything? I'll get you something too. Is there a plush of those, uh, sympathoids? Uh, I don't think so. I guess I could buy a fish and make my own. Make his own? Uh... I, uh, actually, would it be alright if we take a picture as a souvenir? Like the one they took of us when we entered? Can we take one together in front of the one of the tanks, actually? Huh? That doesn't cost anything, though. <laughs> That's fine. I'm actually really happy you came on a date with me today. The truth is, I've been wanting for years to... Come on, let's go take that picture. He walks off ahead of me. What the heck? We're already on the date, and you're still too embarrassed to tell the protagonist how much you like them? Aww. Forget the killer whale. Your cat Moe is too cute. He posed for a selfie in front of the largest tank in the aquarium. Miraculously avoiding any other people in the shot. Wow. We got a picture of all the sharks behind us. Hmm. Yeah, it's like they were drawn to you. No idea why, but that's so cool. Can you send me a copy too? Leon's glaring at the tank. I try to follow his line of sight, but I couldn't find anything there. <laughs> too bad for you. You're on that side of the glass. No. What the frick? Wait, are you jealous of the damn shark? Thanks for taking me out tonight. I had fun. <laughs> yeah, I did too. Thanks for agreeing to come with me. Uh, would you uh, want to go on a second date with me sometime? Oh! 
Oh, of course. Yeah, love to. Oh, really? Yeah, I had fun tonight, and I've always liked spending time with you. Okay. Great. With his face red enough to be visible in the dark, he leans towards me and presses his lips softly against my cheek. Oh, my God, it's cute. We'll see you on Monday. Yeah, of course, like always. Good night. Good night. Even after he leaves, I'm still standing on the porch, trying to unscramble my fried brain. Freaking gap, Moe. Dairy can be so powerful. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> I'm back! Huh? I'm greeted by a silent house. He's not back. He only went and talked to Vincent. Should have taken very long. Mm. Nervous feeling starts gnawing in my stomach. No way. Vincent never hurt my brother in the game. Remember that much. Everything should be fine. He probably just went to see some friends afterwards. Huh? Huh? I wasn't even thinking about that. What? Ah. Uh, go into his room. I haven't had a reason to go in there the whole time been living with him but i really don't know much about my younger brother i can't ask lest i raise suspicion perhaps this is a chance a medium-sized room opens up in front of me there's a bed a table wardrobe shelf a shelf it's a little messy on his desk but otherwise things are surprisingly neat with all these build-ups i thought it'd be normal well the thing on the shelves are a little odd as an assortment of punk style jewelry on display. I haven't seen him wear any of this stuff, but it seemed to fit his style. Huh? What is this stuff? Crosses, a bunch of rocks. Are these night vision goggles? There's a label on this camera that says paranormal photographs. Looks like it was bought at a tourist trap gift shop. Does he like paranormal things? Instructions to summon the devil. Okay, Chunibyu. He's got his own quirks, but there's nothing particularly unordinary there. As I turn away, a teddy bear on this bed catches my eye. Huh? Purple and yellow. Oh, I don't know what drew my eyes to them. Anyways, I'm getting out of here. I don't want to explain why I'm trespassing into his room. I start towards my room when the doorbell suddenly rings. That must be my brother. I open the door to an empty street. Huh? huh? More than a little creepy. I step back to close the door when I see a bag on the floor of the porch. What's in the bag? Patches of red leaks out from various parts of the bag. A metallic scent fills the air. No. What? No way. It can't be what I think it is. I'm still staring at the bag when a pair of shoes enters my field of vision and walks up the porch. <laughs> Run. She try to get out of here. My feet are glued to the ground. I stuck on the blooming red spots. Even when the cold steel presses against the bottom of my chin, I freeze it in place. My head is tilted up and Vincent smiles pleasantly at me. Mm. Hey, honey. You were so late for our date. I came to find you. No! What did you do? Where's my brother? <laughs> what do you think? He not just the bags with his toes and I flinch. No! Oh. How could you? How could I? <laughs> what do you mean, how could I? Even with everything I've done for you, you couldn't even talk to me yourself. I tried telling you time and time again, no! You just sent your brother to talk to me. I'm... I'm not sorry! <laughs> sorry. You should be. You're just like the rest of them. You act all nice and friendly in front of me. But the truth is, you hate me like everyone else. I do hate you! He swipes the knife back as he buries his face in his hands. I feel a trickle of blood run down my throat as he stumbled backwards. <laughs> I guess I should thank your brother since he told me the truth about you. How you never actually liked me and that I should never show my face around you again. Hmm. Isn't that horrible? So you. <laughs> Why don't you find out? He nudges the bag again and points a knife towards me. I swallow and pick at the zipper. The metal stings on my skin. I don't want to unzip it. I don't want to see what I already know. <laughs> ah! Even though I was prepared for it, I can't help screaming and jumping back. Still my eyes are glued to the bag of flesh and blood in front of me. <laughs> That is the most anticlimactic scream I've ever <laughs> I slide backwards to the floor, trying to get away from it all, to pretend it isn't happening. Huh. He jabs the bag with his foot. The topmost piece tumbles out. An arm, a foot, a head. A head with red hair and a cap still attached. 
rolls towards me, eyes still glassy and the neck still oozing fresh blood. Ah! No! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I need to get out of here. I can run to the other side of the house and climb over a window or something. I scrambled backwards, my limbs flying everywhere as I struggled to stand or crawl or anything away from him. Huh? Oh. Huh? My back hit something as I feel the press of cold metal on the top of my head. <laughs> Where are you going? Well, when did these people get into my house? Standing around us in a semicircle are three blue shadows, each with a gun in their hands. <laughs> what do you want, Vincent? <laughs> well, now you care about what I want. Only when you're being threatened. Why is everyone like this? You were supposed to be different. That's what I wanted. Who cares what you want, Vincent? I can still... Still what? What can you do after this? Another kick to the bag of body parts and blood spills out, reflecting the light from outside as it spreads across the floor. I'm cutting my losses. I don't need you or anyone else. He waves his hand and... Ah! One of the blue shadows fires his gun and pain explodes in my left leg. <laughs> Actually, there is something you can do for me. Huh? What? Just sit back and listen a bit to how I feel. You're gonna monologue! Is it gonna- Oh my god, Vincent! He raises his knife and a sinking feeling fills my stomach. The dread is enough for me to ignore the pain in my leg. Oh. Nah, no way. It's not a time to kill this way. He's not. He's not. But <laughs> in these last minutes, make sure to only think of me. Ah! First step comes suddenly, and I don't recover before the second one comes. And a third, fourth, I've lost count. Hmm. Stay the way you're supposed to be. Well, bad end three. Okay, this time we're gonna go with Leon's bad end. I don't wanna go on a date with Vincent. But God, this is for the channel. Let's go. It's definitely Leon. Leon, he's terrifying. He feels like he's gonna snap at any moment. Um, but that isn't... Actually, he has been acting stranger than usual. I chalk it up to how he typically is, but is it no longer working? Alright, go on your date with Vincent tomorrow. I'll go talk with Leon. Thanks, little bro. Thank you so much. I'm going to hate every single moment of this, aren't I? Valentine's Day. Alright, let's do this. Ready to go? All I can master out is a nod. <laughs> Try relax and have fun, alright? I mean, you say you don't dislike him, right? You're right. I don't. I'm pretty sure if it's just a day with Vincent, he won't hurt me. Alright, we'll see you later. See ya. Thanks, little bro. <laughs> hey, it's not ice skating thing if you're only going to cling to the wall the whole time. <laughs> I'm not clinging to the wall! Railing is better. Might be worse, actually. Aww. Haven't gone ice skating in over half a decade. Pretty sure game physics are making this extra difficult for me to make me a klutz for content. I don't remember having this much difficulty balancing on skates. Here, give me your hand. Hmm. Stop looking like a damn prince. Hesitatingly, I keep my other hand still on the railing. I reach out to hold his hand. Okay, now let go of the railing. Ah! Loosen my grip and immediately I feel the skate slip under my feet. I cling back onto the railing. Hmm. Come on, I have to take a step forward, otherwise you'll be stuck in the same place forever. I take a breath and I release the handrail fully, my feet gliding forward from sun force exerted. Ah! Ah! Going too fast. Ah! Don't worry, I got gotcha. you. I collapse onto his chest, but he's stable enough to not even falter. Instead, he holds on to me and glides elegantly backwards across the ice. Damn it, how is he so good at this? Hmm. Just hold on to me, okay? Leave everything to me. Hmm. Alright. Thanks for taking me out tonight. Had fun. Mm. Not at all. For our next date, I'll make sure you have even more fun. Huh? Next day, he takes a step to close the distance between us again. I can have another date, right? Um, maybe? He'll think about it. <laughs> it's not a no. He'll take it. He smirks at me, then leans down. His lips are soft against my cheek, and his breath tickles my ear as he pulls away. Good night. See you on Monday. Good night. Huh. 
even after he leaves. I'm still standing on the porch, trying to unscramble my fried brain. So this is how all those teenage girls from the 80s coming of age movies feel. Ooh. Oh god. <laughs> I'm back. I'm greeted by a silent house. Huh? He's not back. The only way I talked with Leon. It shouldn't have taken very long. Hmm. Nervous feeling gnaws at my stomach. No. Ah, no way. Leon would never hurt my brother in the game. I remember it that much. Everything should be fine. Probably just went to see some friends afterwards. Huh? I wasn't even thinking about it. Huh. Well, if there's nothing new in this room, we're just gonna skip ahead. I start towards my room when the doorbell suddenly rings. That must be my brother. A bag is dropped at my feet the moment I open the door. Huh? Huh? My eyes are glued to the red stains leaking out of the canvas material. I'm scared. I'm scared to look up. Hey, I was waiting for you. You never showed up for our date. Why is everyone killing our brother? Leon? I feel the press of something cold against my neck. I see a glint of reflected moonlight. Breathe. Breathe. Control your breath. Don't move. Mm. Instead, the only person who came to find me was your younger brother. I shut my eyes and forced myself not to whimper. Run. Don't try to run away. If I move, he might cut my neck. You know what he said? <laughs> well, of course you don't. Because nothing he said could have actually been true, right? No. Leon, what? What did you do? The bloodstains are blooming across the cloth. There are so many. Everywhere. All over the bag. Oh, I got you a gift. Do you want to open it? I shake my head, the tears stinging in the back of my eyes. I squeeze them shut in an attempt to prevent them from overflowing. <laughs> yeah, you always look out for me. So this time, I'll help you out. All I did was try to help me. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Open it. I feel the pressure it applies against my neck, and I nod, crouching down with shaking hands to find the zippers. Even though I was prepared for it, I could help but scream and jump the edge of Leon's knife nicking my neck just deep enough to draw blood. I barely notice. My brain is solely preoccupied with the bag of flesh and blood in front of me. Ah! Ah! I slide backwards to the floor and try to get away from it all to pretend it isn't happening. What's wrong? Not just a bag and the topmost piece tumbles out. An arm, a foot, a head. A head with red hair and a cap still attached. Rolls over towards me, eyes still glassy, and the neck still oozing fresh blood. Ah! No! Ah! Ah! <laughs> all right. What he said to me, even though we've known each other for all these years, he said we should stop spending time together. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I told him that I needed to be with you no matter what. That you promised. <laughs> but he insisted. Saying he'd call the police for harassment or even fight me to get me to stay away. Oh, we did fight. No! Oh, no, no, no! This is all my fault. I never should have let him go to see Leon alone. Hmm. He's gone better, but... Leon? Stop! What do you want? What I want. What I want. Anger flashes across his eyes, and the first stab comes faster than I expected. pain as he withdraws his knife from my shoulders enough to make my vision disappear, only to be brought back as I feel such serrated point cut across my flesh. I wanted to go on a date with you. The second and third thrust comes all too fast. I want to stay away from Vincent. I wanted you to pick me. Why did you pick me? No! Stop! <laughs> I've been with you all this time, and you'd still choose someone else! didn't even talk to me yourself. You asked your brother to come! The world is swimming around me. I can't focus. I can't probably hear or read what he's saying. How many times has that knife gone through me? Why did you come to talk to me yourself? Do I scare you that much? Oh. For all these years, you never did like me once, did you? It's red. It's all red. Someone's screaming for help. I keep trying to grab the knife. Someone's begging. Everything hurts. I can't see. Can't hear. <laughs> what I want can't happen. So I can't let you have what you want either. Better in three.
Anyway, that's the end of this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to play this visual novel for yourself, link to the game will be in the description below. We will be back for one last part of this, uh, where we go through the survival routes of Stuck in a Yonder visual novel. So, hey, uh, be sure to stick around for that. We will be back with that tomorrow. But anyway, I hope you guys have a lovely rest of the day. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion, signing off. Ciao.